Yo, 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 live on location. Me and the blackest one chilling in Orlando as we always are till we get back on road again. But right now we going all the way out east, y'all. We going to Camden and we going, and we got the king of Camden coming through. Camden's yeah, finest, right. man. He repping to the fullest. It's a legend in his own right. Y'all should know what's going on with him because he was one of them people in the league well, health issues held him back, but we here to let y'all know and tell his story. Big Dewan Wagner, bro. We appreciate you coming on with us, man. This Wag, is big bro. right here. Legendary, bro. <laughs> I appreciate y'all, man. Hey, man, you one of them gems of the basketball world that really need to hear you and just hear you talk, man, so they can know what it is. You a legend. <laughs> appreciate y'all. Brought to you by Thigh Stock. All right, so the first thing we ask everybody is like, man, when you first got to the league, who was the first person to bust your ass? <laughs> you, you, you remember you remember my rookie year? Remember. You was dead. I was. You was dead, so I, I, I was hurt. I missed the first 12 games, so I came yeah. back. And I got spurts with my ass. I got yeah. school. Mm -hmm. AI. Yeah. Hey, uh, I remember that game. Sam Gazelle. Ooh, yeah, I remember. Sam Gazelle had, had me on the bench in two minutes, and he told me what he was going to do. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, that I'm pump, a that pump fake. Yeah, I'm going I'm, I'm to get you two fouls real quick. And I went for the same <laughs> move. Same move. Same move every time. You ain't the only man. one. You not yeah. the only one. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about with you, man, like, I know, cause I was there when you first got to the league and you know, you missed your first 12 games. You didn't really practice, do do a whole lot of anything, but when they played you, when he put right. you in the game, like them games, I was telling folks like, man, you averaged like 23, your right. first damn near 10 games. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Playing, right. like speak about that when you just got into it and uh, when you first played, when you got out there with us and you first played and you just started to see that, that rhythm you started to get in. See, once I got there, I, I I was I was comfortable from just you know coming up, coming up playing. You know we we've been seeing each other since we was kids. So yeah, you know once you get there, you just hype. And, and when I got there, I had probably two days of training camp. Then you know yeah. I got, I got sick, so I couldn't. So I yeah. Just sitting on the bench watching, and the, the crazy thing about it, when I came back, I was only around like seventy percent. Right. Yeah. But you know that was a shout out to Coach Luke, because Luke, just, you know, pulled me to the side too, man. Just be you. Believe be you. Believe I don't yeah. man go. He said go be a dog. He did yeah. tell me go at the ass. That's you know how Coach Luke was. Right. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. So so once I went out there, and I'm like, dang. Cause I ain't playing not one preseason game or nothing. Nothing. And the numbers I was putting up, crazy. I see. Yo, I'm love this. Right. I'm crazy. Love. Like I'm talking about yeah. right off the back, averaging yeah. to like like 23. Like you you came straight from, from not playing a training camp or nothing to the leading score of our team. It felt easier than than than, than college, right? Because of the spacing yeah. and all that. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Like, once you start doing that, how did your, in your mind, how was you thinking? Was you like, damn, like, I ain't, it's kind of easy in college. Like, was it unexpected? Was it like, yo, I nah, was it was, not. It, it, it was definitely not expected. You know, you, you heard over the years that, you know, the, the NBA game is more wide open. You know, college, we hungry. We trying to get there. So we mm. playing harder every minute yeah. of the game. Right. You know, the NBA yeah. pace, it start off slow. And then yeah. as, as you keep going on, people start getting into it. Yeah, you have to adjust to the speed. Adjust to it. So I was full speed right. when I got <laughs> yeah, it. And yeah, and yeah. I had to slow myself yeah, down. Yeah, right. Like, and then I ain't know no better. So I'm going full speed from the beginning. Like, yeah. I'm seeing them up and I'm trying to go right at it. And Luke, Luke gave me the confidence to do that. Straight up. And in them games that you came back, man, one of them games, I know it was like a big game for you. We had the opportunity to play the 76ers. Yeah, it was our and, third and, game. And you about third. to play Bubba Chuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like, yeah. I know that from you coming from Camden, seeing seeing what, what Chuck did for not only 
Philly and 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 that area, but right. the culture around the world. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, we grew up on that. He made players like you from from us watching, yeah, look, like players like look, me, all of us. You know what I'm saying? Like, how was that game? Because I remember being at that game and just seeing you and him. It was like a mirror. Yeah. Y'all was going at it yeah, in yeah. that game. But just tell me about that game and how see, that was. See, it, it was special because since Chuck came to Philly, I was attached to him. Like, and that, that yeah. was my eighth grade year. Mm, yeah. You know, Unk, Unk put me around him. Right, Unk, yeah, West. right away. You know what I'm saying? So so Chuck was like, that. since then, my big brother. Yeah. yeah. Like, first, it, before that, you know, it was my pops that I, I looked up to. Yeah. Once I got a little older, start understanding the NBA, Penny was my favorite player. Yeah. But once Chuck came, it was over. It was over. It was over. Like it was he, over. he 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 created me a new position. If it wasn't for him, yeah, I probably wouldn't have been a number six pick. Yeah, my fault. I probably wouldn't have been the number six pick at my size. You know, right. doing what I'm doing. They probably would have said I was too small to play the two. Yeah, but 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 that game that game was special because when I got drafted. We met up over Philly at a Friday's. He probably won't even remember this. It's me and my boys, and we see him. So, you know, we're in the Friday, so he talking. He like, yeah, you know, we both in the East. He said, you know I'm going to bust your ass. Right? <laughs> 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 he gave me my boy, said, you know I'm going to bust his ass, right? But me and Chuck been working out, playing with each other, so I, I was comfortable, and I, I'm like, I already know. I'm, you you got to get it right back. I right. know what you going to get. It ain't no stopping you. I was mature. I was a student of the game. Yeah. I like, man, I'm going to have to make him work too. Yeah, that was one of those moments, like I say, being on your team and uh, just knowing you from over the years, knowing you from when we was young, I knew that was a moment for you. Man, yeah, I knew yeah. that was a big nah, moment. Nah. And I was so proud of nah. you, man, how, how you came out in that game and, and balled out. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think... Man, I know Chuck was probably proud, just nah, ecstatic for man, you. You know what I'm man, saying? It, it, for you to come out in that game and have a good game and just play your way. Yeah, look, like, it, so that was dope to it, see. It, it, it's little stuff that that I re, I remember that you know what I'm saying. I always take in like Chuck, a real dude. Like after that game, you know, I'm fresh in, in the NBA. I ain't used to losing. Right. I'm mad. Yeah, I'm mad. I'm going back to yeah. the locker room. I know, but he. Chased me down before we got in the tunnel, you know, just to give me that hug. Told me good game, yeah. you know, keep working, man. You you doing good, because you know that was that was my third NBA game. Right. Yeah, I remember that. And I, I was to win that game bad. <laughs> that that meant, but him running up in the in the in the hallway like that that meant yeah. a lot. That meant a lot because this lot him his, chasing you down all the right. way another way. Right. His locker yeah. room was all the way on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I like, man, like, I don't think they give Chuck the credit he deserved, man. Like, he, he ain't just changed, yeah. you know, the game, he changed a, a culture. Like, he made these yeah. for us. Facts. We ain't had yeah. to wear them suits and all that nah, after that. Man, all the time, bro, he, he, he made, he made yeah. it, he made it possible. He took all uh, them, all them right. blows on the chin and all chin. of the criticism and all of that. And right. he was the figure and being like, after he took all that, it was like, he made everything easier for he us easy. to come behind yeah. and do and not have to take all of that and deal with right. all of that at all. It was like, he dealt with it first. Yeah. Yeah, it's because of him. I, I I could be me. Like they had to force me to play point guard. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I could do what I could do best: score the ball. It ain't matter what yeah. size. Take, take. I want. I want. Want you to take me back. Like you said, he he came in to Philly when you were like in eighth grade. Take me back to your to your childhood. Like when did you become like? Cause I see you after eighth grade. You went as a freshman and right away starting on varsity. Like when did you become like? noticeably better than the rest of the kids your age. And when did you start noticing that you was like, oh, I'm pretty good at who? Oh man, I, I, at the time I ain't know it, but my, you know, my my uncles was putting me through gladiator school. You know what I'm <laughs> right. saying? My, yeah. like, like, like everybody hear about my dad, he 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 was in Europe at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I, I grew up in Camden. Mm -hmm. So, so, you know, I, I was in projects. Right. Yeah. I was in the projects in Canada, Centerville. 
So, you know, my uncle started, started with my grandpa when I was young. He coached, they call him coach mm. around here. He coached all the recreation leagues around here. So around here, our biggest thing is can high basketball. Like I ain't know nothing about NBA. I ain't care nothing about NBA. So yeah. that was my biggest thing, be the best player around in Camden. So, it, you know, it started off with me, my uncle taking me to all the rec leagues, the, you know, the house in the Darty League, the project mm-hmm. league, you right. play all, all yeah. the projects, stuff like that. Yeah. But my uncle never let me play with my age group. And then my oh, uncle yeah. never was my coach. Right. See, <laughs> see it, 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 it was wild. I see now when I got older, he just was making me a man. He was making me better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was, I was probably eight playing against 12, 13 years. Right. So that's yeah. a big difference back then. Especially then he doubling age. me. He'll go, yeah. cause look, where, where I'm from, we got, pro- it's my project. It's we all from the same hood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But right across the street is a different house in the dark. Right. Then there's a, on the other side is another one. Mm-hmm. So we had a, a house in the dark league with like eight different projects, right, Mom? It's like eight different projects. So we had a league and my uncle ain't coached me. He went and coached the, 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 the other team. <laughs> the other team. <laughs> and told you where you playing. Yeah, and, and told you, you ain't gonna win. We gonna shut your little ass down. Yeah. So I'm looking at how we play. He got all, all dudes that's older than me too. And he's doubling me. <laughs> all that team. Yeah, so 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 there I'm like, damn, once I got older, I said I didn't seen a boxing one and try on two. You've been saying that for, for years. Whatever. Get to high school, but, it's like you already know what it is. But this is my uncle. Like, yeah. my, you know, my cousins, they like, yo, man, what you doing? Let him play. My grandma I'm cussing him out when we get home. Yeah. That's he like, nah, cool. I got him. But you know, he was getting me ready. So so about time I got like in with some structure, like. I didn't start playing AAU into seventh grade. Okay. I felt disrespectful playing with my age group. Like, I'm like, yeah. man, my mom and I'm like, you playing AAU for the yeah. seven, 13? I'm like, 13? I ain't trying to go there. <laughs> hey, I'd rather stay in Cam than play in this men's league. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah. But, and, and that's how you got your, your game that's like that's up how, to par. That's how I got my game, y'all. Cause then, you know, they ain't take it easy on me. Uh, I'm at you, the park. Park, they 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 treat me just like one of the men. I, like one of the I men. remember uh Nike camp. I was at Nike camp and uh, you know, we, we playing and uh, you know, I know you and, and you had the chain, you had the chain of you. <laughs> I thought this chain was the dopest fucking chain of you. I seen a high school player ever had. He had a chain of actually him, like a gold chain, and yeah. then his whole body with his jersey on, braids. <laughs> I told Unc, like, hey, I need one of them right there. <laughs> like, Hold up. I need wait, one wait, of them. Wait. I told Unc, wait, wait, wait. I told you said, Unc, you I said, said it was I need the whole one of them. body and everything. Yeah. I done seen my, yeah, I this, think, no, the chain, the charm was about that big. He had the sick, It was his sick whole head body head with, with, with his <laughs> high school jersey on and, and braids of him. Yeah. I thought this, I'm like, man, I'm in a higher grade than him. How did you get that? <laughs> I said, I need one of them up. <laughs> yeah, but we yeah. was at Nike camp though, we was at Nike camp. I and I remember uh, we was at Nike camp and I walked in the gym and I, we was right after y'all, we was the next little session after y'all. I walked in the gym, so we walking in on the back end of it. Right, right. And man, right. you had 50. <laughs> I'm talking yeah. about like, yeah. <laughs> you had 50 at Nike camp. Right, right. They couldn't stop them the next day, the next morning. It was a DeWine Wagner rule. <laughs> you got to pass that bitch at least three to four times before, before you shoot. shoot. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. But it wasn't no 50 that he was actually ball right, hogging. It right, was a 50 right, that he right. was just killing everything and everybody that was out there, man. <laughs> and you remember the next morning when they changed the rule, Ooh, yeah. right? <laughs> That's crazy. I said they changed the rule for this yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember it. I remember it. Once you got the cameo to score 40 as a freshman, <laughs> That's crazy, and then, like let's go forty as a freshman, let's go fifty as a as a sophomore, let's go eighty as a junior. 
Then you go on and score a hundred. When I seen that shit. Yeah, that was like, come on. Dog. Bro, I was telling everybody. Yeah. I believe it. No, I ain't do they cheat. No, bro, you just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it, like you the only person I seen that just, just not a, like, cause you know, you got shooters. They think that every time you gotta be a crazy shooter right, right. to get that many points. Right. Right. But boy, you are all around bucket getter, bro. You can do it all. But I knew when I seen that shit, I was like, that shit crazy. But to come in to Camden, like you say, Camden is big. To come in freshman year, start varsity, and get you a 40 piece right. See, that year. Yeah. I yeah. you know them next, you looking forward to them next three years of busting some ass. Hey, hey, D, I was looking forward since I was born. <laughs> like, like it. Everybody around here you know to wear that purple and gold, man. I ain't man, that was bigger than me than playing for the Lakers. Right. Straight up. Like I was the ball boy since I was probably like in the third, fourth grade. Yeah. So it was really like I'm just waiting my turn. You, you know better than the history. You, you know how these dudes re reclassing and stuff. Yeah. But me and my family had a meeting with coach, legendary coach Turner. He was my dad coach at Canada Town. We had a meeting about me playing my eighth grade year, but I gotta sit out my senior year. Right. Yeah. I'm trying to get to high school. Straight up. So, crazy. but my mom and I was like, man, man relax, man. You, you, you got <laughs> I tried the same year? thing, bro. <laughs> Cause I used to go to uh practice, my, my middle school practice right after school in Camden High. We only had one gym. So with the 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 men, the, the boys basketball team ain't practice at 6 30 at night. So I used to go to both practices. <laughs> you practice with your with your middle school team and at the high school. Eighth grade. So That's it was dope, to a right? point like Coach Turner, like, oh man, listen, babe, he could play this year, man. <laughs> we go get him in that night. So how's that to go from the ball boy to 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 you you the you the feature? You got the lines outside the gym every night. It's packed, stay in the whole city. No. Everybody talk like, and then it's like, you know, you coming in putting up fifties, forties, eighties, hundreds. Like, how do that feel? You know, you know, when you in school, imaginary, you think in school, you going to daydream and thinking about stuff like that. <laughs> that's that, that's what I dreamed of. Yeah. And, and, and I gotta give a shout out that the Aaron Burt, he uh, he helped team final AAU team in the, the Nike circuit. Right, him and yeah. Vic, Vic Car Starf, and he about to be a mayor of, of Camden. You know, I'm Camden out, man. I love Camden High basketball. This is '96. Right. Yeah, we had a dude named Nate Johnson. Nate. Nate Johnson, he's he one of my heroes. He like, I'm deep Nate because the world back then it wasn't no social media. Right. Yeah. So I'm wondering why all these other dudes getting all this pub like Kobe, Tim Thomas, and all them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm asking them like, man, why Nate better than them? Yeah. They like, no, young fella, it's, it's levels. <laughs> it, 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 I feel it, it's levels, man. It's levels. So they like, we gonna come get you tonight. We are gonna take you to this game. Lower Maryland was playing like Chester, I think, at uh, Villanova University. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we get there, we get there an hour early, but couldn't get in. This is a college arena. Right, <laughs> right. It's, it's Kobe, it's Kobe great Dang, play. dang. <laughs> so I'm like, damn, man. we can't get in in the college? <laughs> so I, that was motivation for me. Yeah. Like, like I still ain't see Kobe play that night, but for him, everybody be out here going Bring crazy like, out like that, that. like uh, uh, selling out a college arena. Yeah, that made me go home and work some more. Like yeah. I gotta, I gotta work, man. Like it is, it, it's, it's more than just Camden. Let Let me ask you this, because like to score a hundred points in the game, bro, that's that's crazy. Like we see the picture with Will, the legendary joint, like. Take me into a deeper dive into that game. Like what, how did it happen? When did you like, like how what do you, you go from, have? how do you go from 30 <laughs> to 40 to 50 to 60 and like all the way to a hundred? Like t talk, talk me through that. It, it, Q, it started off as a, a, a regular game, regular game coming out, like playing, passing. I had like seven assists that night. So, I just, you know, I'm just being aggressive, being aggressive. 
at the half, I think I had like four to shine. But I ain't know. You know, I'm just being me. I'm just going crazy. I'm just going. I'm just going. But at the end of the third, they say I had 76. Dang. So now my teammates like, man, my cousin, I'm like, yo, man. You get Go get a hundred, man. <laughs> Go get a hundred. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, time down. They throw me that thing, but it, 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 if you watch, it, it wasn't looking like I was out there trying to get it. Like it was like in the floor, cause the, that's how our team was. Like I, I was the scorer. Everybody played their role. We had an AI Philly yeah. team that went to the finals, and, and and I only had ten threes that game. Ooh, that's a whole lot of two pointers, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just 30 of the hundred. Yeah, that's only a had 10 lot of two points. Yeah, but but I had 76 at the at end of the third. Then I yeah, say that was- that's when they say go get it. Go get it. Go get it. So yeah. te- so tell me like after you get the hundred points, like what how was that? How what what was in the paper the next day? How did the city like what was the how did, buzz? How did you go to sleep? Yeah, like what <laughs> happened? Like how did you like what did they at like after the game? What was the write up? What was the fan reaction? I know it was just like a buzz, like no other. Like this kid just hit a hundred. I remember oh <laughs> always be telling this story. After that night, uh, I, I scored the hundred. Unk was going up uh New York. Uncle West. Worldwide yeah. West. Oh, going up New York. So he, he like, all right, all right, Lefty, I'm gonna see you. Uh, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. I'm going to New York. So I'm like, I'm trying to go. <laughs> he like, all right. So he he was uh, meeting Jesse Armstead and Ray Lewis. Mm. They was great playing the Super Bowl. I think at that year he meeting uh. them. So he said. <laughs> <laughs> they tell him the meeting somewhere. He ain't know, so they gave him a location. So the spot we ended up at was a strip strip joint. Strip joint. <laughs> strip joint. This the after night, the hundred. That night after, after the hundred. Points, that boy about to. <laughs> that boy getting the guy. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm in there sitting. So you know they ain't they ain't questioning because who who right, you right, with? Right, right, right. Who you with? So we sit, you know, the waitresses and all that stuff, they got the uh, TVs on. So now that it, it come on, that me scoring 100. Oh, you done made Sports <laughs> Center. People start looking like, <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm 17. That's straight right. up. That boy got to go nah, to that, New that, York City. That's what City. I remember about that night. So, so you got 100 points, then got to go to New York City and got to it go to- Ray the, Lewis. Ray Lewis, yeah. Ray Free Lewis, Super Jesse Bowl, right for the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, a, that's, that's an epic night right there. That's like some real TV show movie stuff right there. And I know, like, like in small towns like that, like how it was with East St. Louis, it feel like you got the city on your back. Man, man at the you know time, what I'm you know, at the time, D, we we was young. As yeah. we get older, you realize that because now I got a son. Yeah, and I be like I having like little butterflies in my stomach. Like, mm-hmm. man, this is my baby boy, man. Like, yeah. it's a little bit too much pressure. Right. Yeah. But he thinking like I was thinking. Cause he, but do you feel like that way? Because he ain't get. Grew up in the trenches how you grew up in the trenches? But it was like he did, you know, mentally being, being around me, like I, I made yeah. sure he he was there every day. Like yeah. he there, you know, he around playing with his cousins and I and I I, I toured him, you know, the history of a can high basketball. Like, yeah. Listen, this this, this came history of yeah. this came this came before me. It came before your grandpa. Like, yeah. It's it's a rich tradition, man. Like, and, and it's in your when, blood. when one of us on the roster, it got to be different, man. Like, yeah. like, like straight you know up, when that DNA is on the roster. It's yeah. a whole another. Yeah, it's the it, it, it got it got to be different, man. You got to work hard. Like, you gotta. You playing for your people, like, cause yeah, man. Th- th- this the time of your life. Once you come get to college, now it's 
first it was NBA, but when you get to college now, it's a business. Straight up. Yeah. Straight so up. So I tell you, like, yo, man, don't rush. Have fun. Yeah. You know, you, you, you worried about winning the state championship. Yeah. Don't think about college or none of that right yeah. now. How was that for you when you did bring the city that state championship? Man, basketball moment, the best, the best feeling in the world. That that was my best accomplishment ever, and that's what I, that's what I tell him. Like, cause I, that was my dream. You know, going to the games with my grandpa and, and all my, my my dudes in the nineties letting us down. I got it for the one for flash. <laughs> Early nineties boys let us down. They right? let us <laughs> down, man. I came home crying every time. <laughs> <laughs> they were crying every, every time from up north, man. Every time, and they and they be the ones talking like they was these dudes. We yeah. when, like. I ain't realized when we won the state championship, it was the first time since 87. Ooh, that was a nice and, little draft. And, and, and like Camden High, the 70s, 80s, powerhouse. Like we right. had teams that was number one in the country. Yeah. Like Camden only seven miles. So to be number one in the country. Yeah, that's huge. You know, that's we got four, yeah. four, four McDonald's All-Americans. Yeah. yeah. So th that's what I mean about Camden. That's what I thought. I, I that was my plan, and I got to win a champion, a uh, state championship. That was my whole yeah. thing, man. These four, yeah, I got four years to bring it home, because all yeah. in the '90s we was coming up short. Right, right up. we was coming up short, and I'm looking to the dudes that we losing to. Like, come on, man. <laughs> so you get state, I just, you I, get, I just ain't want to let my people down, man. You get that state chip, and you get to McDonald's. How like, is that? When I got up there, like, they, you know, they all trying to kick it, you know, like after the court, we gonna be all boys, but they don't know I'm up there trying to go at that next. Every time. Uh, at that next, I wasn't even really worrying about the McDonald's game. I'm like trying to poo, I'm- Better than all y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, better than all, yeah. Cause I know it was a bunch of guys that year, especially because guys was going straight out of high, high school. school. Yeah, yeah, you had who's number big, one? Y'all had you had Eddie. a bunch of seven footers seven in footers. your class. Yeah, like, yeah, you had like three of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and, and, and I and I felt I, I felt disrespected. Yeah, like I, I I took it personal, like I, yeah. but in a good way, made me go work harder. Right, right. Because you know, ahead. after a while, them, them people start getting bored. Yeah. So now you'll get a a, a, a seven footer. That they just, you know what I'm saying, put up there. Cause yeah. he, you know what I'm saying? Cause he could walk and chew yeah. bubble gum at the same time. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Ain't looking at what he gonna be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm like, I'm like, I've been up, you know, doing it since the ninth grade. Yeah. Varsity putting up fifties and forties on them. Yeah, like my, my, my first high school game, my grandma just reminded me, my freshman year, the last scrimmage, Dante Jones. Dante Jones. <laughs> we playing against him in the scrimmage. He he tried to take a charge, and I came down on my wrist and broke my wrist. So I already told y'all I feel about Can High basketball. This is my dream. So this next week is supposed to be my first game. <laughs> they said I'm out six to twelve weeks. That's the season. <laughs> Man, I waited my whole life, man. I'm like, man, I told, looked at my grandma, I'm like, I ain't miss no game. So you, you scored 40 with a, a fucked up wrist your freshman year? No, no, look, I look, I, I was playing, half of the year I was playing with, a, if, if y'all ever around, pay attention, on, Wes called me lefty. <laughs> he called me lefty. Cause uh, I broke my wrist. So I had a, a, a big ass cast on my hand. Uh. So I broke my hand when I was younger. So I always used to mess around with my left hand, like shoot with my left hand. So I'm telling uh, coach, like, coach, I'm playing. Like, he like, man, you know, may, maybe in the middle of the year, you will be all right. I'm saying, coach, I'm playing. Like, oh, I'm playing. <laughs> Ain't nobody keep me out of the game, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing. You been waiting for this forever. So at, by the third day, he watching me down there shooting with my left hand. So he like, started thinking about it. So about the time that day came, 
before the game is a Friday, I had my doctor's appointment. Me, my grandma, and Coach Turner went to the the uh the ortho. And you know, we talked to the doctor. They like, man, you know, it's still a fraction, you know, but we could probably could make him a brace. If he could deal with it, you know what I'm saying? It's up to y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all no, but it's up to y'all. Yeah. But that that's how passionate I was, you know, the, the, the play for Canada High. Right. But yeah. my first high school game, I played with my left hand. Yeah. How many did you have? I had 12. 12 oh. points. 12 with the left. 12 with my left hand. Shot you know two. That is? Yeah, did, yeah. I had to shoot with my left. No, it definitely wouldn't have been no points. There was a whole lot of rebound and assisting <laughs> and block. Yeah, <laughs> I I that's crazy. I can, I can only dribble four times with my left. And I had to tap it with the right hand go back to the left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every time we used to go to Philly, man, what we used to do? Go to Sophie's. That was our one right away. Every time yeah. we came to Philly, we yeah. go straight to Camden. Yeah. I go yeah. straight to Camden yeah. with Wag. Yeah. He right there at the projects, yeah. man. Right there at yeah. the tavern. Yeah. It was the tavern across the street from the projects. So we at the bar. Sophie's. Called Sophie's. Sophie. Yeah. yeah. We used to be up in there. It's still there too. They be like, D where you go? I'm like, where you going? He be like, I'm finna go to Cam. I said, all right, I'm with you yeah. then. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and all the homies, man. We all at Camden all day. And they and they and they treat you like you fam, like you from here. I mean, we were walking to everybody though <laughs> through the projects. We instead of walking yeah. around the building, we walking through somebody's house. We just walk through they door, walk out the other side, then go. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, crazy. People can. I remember that man. We used to, that was a ball. Them some of them good memories I remember. They still talk about that to this day. Yeah, we used to be together, yeah. man. Them used to yeah, be dope. Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, going back to your son, though, man, to just see that next generation and the opportunity, because nobody ever had the opportunity to, well, they had the opportunity, but nobody ever had three kids, I mean, three people from generations be that good in their generations and getting the opportunity to, to put a mark in the NBA, I mean, in a basketball game, not just the NBA, but just the basketball world. To see your son out there right now, and man, like I was telling you when I talked to you, I was like, man, I love watching your son play because he don't really dunk, he just get buckets and he do everything, he ain't flashy, he north, south instead of east, west, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. remind me so much of you. He ain't extra, and, and like, it ain't all them and extras. He ain't extra, none of that, yeah. and then like, you know, I know people would be like, yeah, you see all these other little kids, they highlighting, they got a whole highlight film like they in the league. Yeah, yeah. But you know, you. Real people know real basketball, right. but to see your son out there doing this thing, how is that for you? Like as a parent, it's a whole different feeling, man. Yeah, like yeah. That, that's your baby boy right there. But you know, it's really from, you know, my dad giving me the game and me having my uncles around, you know, uncle around. So me knowing how to do it the right way. You know, whatever I thought I lacked, I made sure he had. Mm, yeah. And you know, his, his mom, she do a good job with him, you know, as a person. And we, we make sure, first you're gonna be a good person, man. It's like basketball don't work out. You go anywhere, get a job or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he make it easy on us, man. He make it easy on us. Like he a good kid and he, he, he want to be the best. Yeah, like, and, and to start with, he wanted he want to win. He want to win the state yeah. championship for Canada. Yeah, so yeah, that's what he really working hard for. Like, you know, he he hear that all them rankings and stuff. He don't care about it at all. Yeah, like like that's, that's he blind to it. He yeah. blind to it. But you know, he just just really. Keeping around, the, you know, the BS. Letting him know, man, because the, today. They really like mess the game up for it's these tough. kids, man. Like you got these AAU coaches, they they treating them like they made it already, yeah. man. Like, so I, I keep him away from all that stuff. Let him know, like, yo, you gotta work, yeah. you gotta work, and he's young, you know, with the reclass and all that yeah. stuff. So I'm like, yo, you gotta go harder because all these boys gonna be you older. Than you. Like he's still 15, yeah. he's still 15 right now. So he 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 won it though. Like like he he look at me, he won it. If anybody tell you, like he he gonna look you in your eye, talk, 
talking to you. He want to learn. Yeah. Like he's still 15 right now. That's crazy. <laughs> so like, like, like when you, you see people say uh, his app, let it, you know, he ain't that athletic. He ain't had puberty yet. <laughs> Straight up. You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't no, see, people used come. to that. Reclass now. People coming in high school just doing windmills and, yeah. nah, he still, <laughs> bro, he only got no hair on his legs and nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's crazy, man. It, it, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. That's why. We just stay away from the, the, the we you know you know we do it the way how we came up man we had some thorough old heads around us yeah and these these other people that's around these kids man they in it for something man and it don't hard. never it don't never go that way man speaking of that like how did how did you decide when you was choosing your school like I know we all know you went to the you know the great John Calipari and um I feel like that's a a good segue just about how you chose your coach. Cause I feel like he's one of the guys that really champions the player doing what's best for you and your family. And I feel like he's one of the guys that's uh, regardless of what people say about him. When I look around the college landscape, when you see, I always look at the players and the players relationship with the coaches and stuff like that. And I, when you see things with, from John Calipari's previous players and his form, they all love him. They all show up to anything that's honoring him. They all show love to him. They all speak highly of him. They always talk about how they genuinely care about him, and he genuinely they feel like he genuinely cared about them. So, like, how, how did how did how did you choose? And, and like, B Miles always like to say, it was it any other school that could have got you? Right. I ain't. I don't even know who I got recruited by. <laughs> I ain't take not a visit. You are known. You take none of your visits. I ain't take not one yeah, bit. Yeah, that, that sound like you, bro. That sound like you. That sound like when you showed up, it was tired of. Man, it's tired of I ain't take no you, you was one of the ones that started that way, to me, started that way with Calipari. Not saying that he didn't do nothing before he got you. He hadn't got he a major had, recruit for like 10 years. You started that way, because after you was Derrick Rose and then he go to Kentucky, like you started that uh, way for him. Yeah. So like, see, see, look. What, what, Coach was coaching in, in Philly. Uh, when I was in the uh, tenth grade, I used to you go, mad. I, I used to go over there. Yeah, no, yeah. He, he no, he was at New Jersey first. He got fired oh. from New Jersey. Oh, okay. So that's when uh, Coach Coach Brown bought him on the staff. Oh, Philly. So I used to go over oh, okay. there and work oh, out. Right, that's right. Work, that's work right. out. Oh, yeah. Okay. So okay. so Coach wasn't he wasn't thinking about going to college. Mm, that's so crazy. you know him on and my, my my dad had that 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 relationship, relationship. already. Mm -hmm. So on man, on he was ten steps ahead, man. <laughs> like, right, ten steps ahead. Yeah, him and coach was tight. Like yo, you you you, you thinking about going to college? Yeah, and so, so yeah, and coach I, like yeah, I don't, well I like yeah when I. Send my nephew with you. And I mean, it makes sense for you not to go on no visits the way you the way you say you ain't even with none of that anyway. So I could see you not want to go on none of the visits and waste your time. Yeah, man, I ain't want to do none of that stuff, man. And, and you know, o, o, OJ, you know, I, I, that's my brother. Yeah. He was a year, year, year ahead of me. Yeah. So like yeah. Whatever college he going to, that's where I'm going at. I put that yeah. out there like my sophomore year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How was it for you when you first got there? Like you going from, you know, like you you born and bred and 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 you Camden all the way. Now you go down here to this Memphis, Tennessee, this this Memphis, Southern Tennessee. hospitality. <laughs> and I know it was so, so Southern hospitable. Like how did you like it when it, you got there? Especially being I, like who you were coming there. Man, man, I, I, I love you. It, it, it was different, but it was Camden. Hmm. Yeah. The love you, know you received, right? huh? The love you got, huh? Yeah, yeah. It, it was different by, by being it though it was it was in the South, like they they do things different. Yeah. But it was it, it was the trenches, it was Camden. So I was <laughs> yeah. at home, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they love basketball down there, man. Yeah, and, and it's some it's some good people down there, like. That's my second home right there. Yeah, that's dope. That's my second home. 
Hey, this is what I wanted to ask you too, though. Take me back to like after Memphis and you declare. You declare, and how is it for you? You know, we also share in common that we 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 actually got to be some of those guys that get to go and, and go to the draft, be in that green room, you know, shake David Stern's hand. How was that for you growing up and you know the NBA being a dream and then you finally, you know what I'm saying, you get to you get to do that. You get to walk across that stage and you know your whole hood, everybody you ever knew looking at you and you get to achieve that goal. Like how was that moment for you getting drafted? And you see it? your boys is on the squad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you see yeah, all yeah, us exactly. on <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that 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 was the that was the best thing thing about like for real I was I was really happy for my my my, my city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, like to do something positive, like, you know, the kids could see, like, they could do it. Like, like I said, like, the moment I won the state championship was a better feeling than when I got drafted, y'all. I swear to wow, God, bro. That's crazy. I swear to God, I love, like, they, they, they can't, the camp and stuff came first. Mm. But I, I was definitely happy. Then, then I found out, you know, D was going to be there. So I knew I, I was going to have some people around me that I messed with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that's always. But something. but it, it was like, because, you know, on, 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 he, he he had me around it. You know, then from my dad. You know, my dad played in the league, too. Right. So, so it's just like, man, it's time to go now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's why I know if I wouldn't have got sick, it, it, it would have been sky's the limit because I wasn't the type of dude to go out, right, you know, dude, right. do all that stuff. I just wanted to that. hoop. I just yeah, wanted to yeah, hoop. Yeah, do that, bro. Yeah, yeah. But I just wanted to do that. That's why you need to be told, man, a legend in these in this basketball world, man. And then you create brothers, man. Like I said, we don't got to talk, man. Right. But you know, we right. always on the same time right. every time we right. see and speak to each other. But man, man, so, that's when you know what it is. So many people ask me to do this, I'm like, man. I ain't <laughs> D, 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 D call me, yo. I'm gonna do it. I see, man. I'm gonna be here doing the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta get you on here, man. Cause, like I said, you one of them unique stories, man. And I always admired you and the way you carried yourself and just how you was. And I seen it. Like, how they say, like, oh, you see these people, like, oh, man, they averaging 20 as nah. a rookie. And I'm like, man, DeWine Wagner would have averaged 20 to 25 points as a rookie. Right. Guaranteed, like, like, uh, like straight off the straight off the pot, man, <laughs> like, straight like, up. Like, like uh, I, 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 I remember it, like, cause, cause I wasn't healthy. It's like I ain't have a preseason game to to get the feel of warm it. up. Yeah, bro. that's yeah. the point. Yeah, to like, see, you like thrown in the fire. Yeah, like, and, and, and like Luke had to like beg them people, like, come on, man, let him play. Like <laughs> they, Luke threw me out there and say, man, do what you do. Do what you do. Shout out. He Coach made it John comfortable Lucas, for me. Yeah, Coach John Luke, man. Lucas, he 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 made it comfortable for me. So, but we you know we we just got caught up and you know, which 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 happened for the best for them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. LeBron being the number one pick, that changed that whole city around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Did. But it, 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 everything could have stayed how it was supposed to stay, you know, we all stayed healthy. He yeah. wouldn't have to leave Cleveland. And they know what he was doing. He would never have to leave. He wouldn't have to leave Cleveland, man. He never have to leave. He, he, he kept us all together, yeah. got us right. And we yeah. kind of like, I, lo I love Paul Silas because he's a real one. I tell folks this all the time, but he, the, his his philosophy of the game, it wasn't ready for our game. Right. Like even when, man, when you put it in, it was like, man, we running this old school offense okay. where the bigs is up yeah, top. You got to yeah. run. Throw it to the side, run off the bid, yeah, that like Utah yeah. Jazz type. Yeah. But we yeah. had running guys. Right. Me, you, Brian, Ricky right. Davis, Carlos Boos. Is like, right. we right. if Don Nelson was coach or something Ricky. like that. Man. Shout out Ricky man. Davis. Yeah, we have been rolling. Man, man. And, 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 and as you get get older, they, they you know, with, with, with Brian, they ain't want or they didn't want to be touched. Certain type of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, or they even be touched or around them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that, it, it would have helped him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it would have helped. That's how they wind earlier. up, that's how they wind up losing him in, yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. But they, they, they was like, Trying to protect him, man. He was cool, like, bro, like, yeah, bro, he was cool, cool and ready to go and with the shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, 
Yeah, with the shit. Like yeah. he came out first game right. in, in Sacramento and right. went crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy, like you, you, you knew he, you could tell he was gonna be special. It's the crazy part right here. The same way, the same way you came to Chicago and was around it. Like that was how we first met LeBron. Fast right. forward before he come out of high school, yeah, he, I think he was a sophomore. Hoops. LeBron yeah. had glasses yeah. when he came to hoops. Like Wes yeah. brought him, and he was chilling. He was kicking it with Twan the whole time. Twan Walker. Uh -huh. So like when he first he came out, he played. It was him and Maverick. Maverick was with him. Cause I remember yeah. Maverick was still Maverick was uh I think well whatever he was about to go to school wherever he went right and so right, right you know what I'm saying like I remember him being there like he, I'm talking about he he didn't went out with us and everything this one he's still in high school he had the fifty yard line all this with us you know what I'm saying in the hood yeah. so you know what I'm yeah. saying we we already knew he was cool, cool. he right, wasn't like right. scared to you know what I'm saying nah, mix in nah. with the people like he was chilling nah was yeah, like, yeah 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 that was them that was them people upstairs, man. They ain't, they yeah, like you know. say, Wes always put 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 boys in play with the right people and play. Right you know people, what I'm right, Solid right. people is gonna make sure you taken care of, and ain't nothing gonna happen to you. So, yeah, and Cleveland uh, never had this type of attention in the history of of their basketball yeah, even when yeah. they was winning. You know what right. I'm saying? No disrespect, but like when LeBron came, it was instant media coverage, instant attention. Instant, they yeah, never had nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And then, and then once like. I'll, I'll overcome the, the the injury. Like even the second year when I came back, I had the knee sir. I came back, I was coming off the bench. I was putting up numbers then. Yeah. I'll go from helping us win a game on like a, a, a game winning shot to the next game, not playing at all. Not playing at all. Crazy. That was the up to no. down. So like, no. I remember he, he, he put me on the bench, which I wanted LeBron to run point because you know right, how LeBron, right. was LeBron, it, LeBron looked more comfortable than me. That's what he do me. now. Yeah, that's Listen. what he do now. He looked more comfortable than me at points, so I wanted him to run point, let right. me go on, stay in my position. Right, right. And when he didn't do that, he put, it made me, it kind of fucked me up. Like right. it made me make turnovers and do a bunch of yeah. out of the ordinary shit yeah. that I don't even do. Yeah, yeah. Where did he finally took me out the game and benched me, and I ain't never been on a team that I didn't play. Right, <laughs> like, right. And he put Ira Nubu in for me, and Ira was that's my guy. Like, he, real, but it was like, well, I was pissed. Yeah, yeah. Like, nah, I was nah, losing. you know, we come on. After we, that, I was gone because yeah. I ain't never experienced that before in my career. Like, I was gone <laughs> in the head. Like, this motherfucker ain't playing me. Then, you know what killed me? I damn near cried when we went to Chicago, and Mike was at the game, and this motherfucker didn't play me. Boy, <laughs> oh my God, I was mentally fucked. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna even lie, bro. Play with me like that, him saying the like, crowd, you gonna You know that, like, that hurt my, boy, I damn near cried, but that hurt my feelings, bro. Like, yeah. that man didn't play me, Mike at the game. Yeah. Mike, after the game, Mike Mike came to me like, hey, d what's up? Boy, I damn near cried in front and of Mike, bro. Right Dude, there. I, mean, yo, I said, man, uh, yo, I, my head's down like, man, I don't even know. As 19, 20 year old, that, it, it, it's stressful. We, we yeah. come from. Without expl explanation, it definitely is. See, 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 cue the basketball part. It, it, it wasn't never, I was always confident about ba basketball. You know what I'm saying? It was just the, you know, the bad breaks I was catching with my health. Explain it. Cause like I was on your team, I didn't know. Yeah, like I knew you was hurt, yeah. but I didn't go into details. You know, I, we was just supporting each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. See, and look, messing look, with each other, look, loving look, on each other. That's the what I was Cleveland, gonna say. The Cleveland stuff led up to that. You know, from the second day of practice, I got elbowed in my jaw. You probably remember I oh, set out. I remember. That. They gave me them inflammatories. That's what caused the bladder infection. Mm. For me taking that and not drinking fluids caused the yeah, blood Yeah, drink a bunch of water, yeah. Mm. So it just started from there. Like they giving us all these medicines and going into your gut. So that what scared me, I had blood in my stool. Mm. Yeah. So I tell Max like, yo, I got blood in my stool. He like, oh, it's probably from something you ate. What? You know, at 19, okay. that's what you want to hear. Like, all right. Yeah. You know what I'm like, saying? Real talk. You, you, you listen to that? Because I was taking shots in the knee. Remember I was taking yeah. those shots in the knee every you every too. week, every two yeah. weeks? <laughs> I still, the next year, I was doing Knees that. ain't been rock set. Yeah. But, but like, like as me doing research, getting older, they like, man, all the medicines that they was giving y'all, you know, killed my gut. And that's what caused yeah. the colitis. 
I'll never yeah. forget. Like, you remember, we all remember when Zoe had the problem with his kidneys and stuff, right? Lonzo Mourning. Yeah. So me and Zoe got the same agent, Jeff Wesley. And he was like, as soon as that happened, he was like, yo, I don't want you taking nothing from yeah. nobody, the doctors, unless, unless like, you know, it's like you, like, even then you call me and we going to talk about it. But you, that's the absolute last resort. And I, I remember like, you know, because, you know, like in our generation, Man, you sprain ankle, you do, do you do anything. Like by the time you get it out the shower and all this, they got that little cup with a little, little uh, envelope with the little pills in it for you, which you about to take. Like I'm like, and you don't even ask questions, you just come and boom, boom. And when he when that happened with with with, with Zoe and my agent Jeff told me that, from that point on, I'm talking about all the way to when I had my back surgery, I wasn't taking nothing. Yeah. I was just gonna yeah. go. I was like, nah, because like, it really had it scared me. Cause I'm like, you know, you look at Lonzo like this is Zo. Like he the right, he the picture right. of, of superhero like action figure, right. like he messed up from something. I was scared right. then. That, that, that scared yeah. me off everything. Yeah, see me for me it was like a trigger effect. It was my, my my jaw, they gave me antibiotics that caused the bladder infection, the blood clot, then the knee. Then a knee again, so I'm just constantly getting these medicine. It just have to go through surgery, get on anesthesia. And all when that, it hit me, so that, stuff, ooh, man. that it, 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 man, it was over. I couldn't even go outside, bro. I couldn't even go outside. They say stress do a lot with it too. Yeah, yeah. You remember I, when I came back? You, 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 you was just saying how I was killing. You know, we, we, we can say we the first. First dudes that was a part of uh, blatant and tanking. <laughs> right, straight up, straight up, right. real talk. Yeah, yeah. Real hey, talk. Hey, see, you know we young. I'm 19 at the time. I come back. You know we 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 killing like we we in games. Remember? Yeah. Like you was the spark we needed. Like they, when you came back and how you came in, he, he was the spark because, y'all needed. He wasn't the spark they wanted. They was trying to get. They was yeah, trying yeah to nah, right. Them. Like, with, with, yeah, with, yeah. With, I, was about, respect, I was about to say that. With y'all respect, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was about right. to say that. I was about to say we, that because like they didn't want to win that, that year. Right, right. They didn't want to really win that right. year, so they didn't want none of us to really do right. the best right. of the best because they want a King mm -hmm. James. And look, year, Rick, you know, Rick, Rick, Ricky, Ricky gave was saying certain stuff to me back then, but at the time I'm 19. You know, we ain't hearing it. I ain't hearing it, you know, Bimbo, T Hill, when I was saying it. Yeah, they was keeping it thousand. Rook, take it as a compliment. Yeah. I'm like, man, like, no disrespect yeah. to the, the smush, but he he, he was a, 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 what is it called, an undrafted free agent. Yeah. I just had, at 25, we fly to the, West Coast, Luke called me up to the front of the plane, like, bro, man, he couldn't even look me in my face. Yeah. He like, man, we gonna, we gonna start bringing you off the bench, getting you ready to play point guard. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck I, I do that. wrong? Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what I do? Like, when you ever heard, like, I know my, I know the history of NBA yeah. basketball too. Like, I'm a student of the game, like, I mean, the worst team in the league, your number six pick ain't right. he gonna play all the minutes. Mm -hmm. Especially you scoring 25 play. there yeah. that night. And it's a it's a throwaway season. It's not like you know what I'm saying? Right. There's no reason for him not to get this experience in bop. Right, right, right. So so like that 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 was stressful. That was stressful, but you never lost like, a day in your life. Yeah, yeah. losing such the way the environment was just fucked up. Fire, yeah, you like, know like what I'm saying. Like we, 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 we had all talent in the world, man. We had all, all yeah, the talent. They, 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 so, they, they, so, they done Luke dirty. Yeah, they done Luke dirty. Got him up out of there. John like, Lucas, man. for those who don't uh -huh. know, John Lucas, John the Luke. legendary yeah. the OG, yeah. the man in them. All yeah. love and respect, Big Luke. Yeah, yeah, but Luke was a real one though. That's why I love Luke to this day. Yeah, he was a real one. He he, because he, he was kept, a real. One. They 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 saying playing at the point. Luke kept putting me at the two. <laughs> yeah, at the two. <laughs> they didn't tell you shoot it every time. Kill like, him. Why he said kill him. Why like like Luke couldn't even look me in the eyes. Like I could yeah. tell. Like dang, this ain't coming from Luke. Right. That's yeah. when I, it, I you know I knew it was a busy okay, man upstairs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But even in, even the next year though, but you know, like even you know that first year when it was just us, and then even when we got LeBron, they didn't know what to do. 
Right. They, ain't they didn't know what to do. We had all the talent in the world that year, too. Yeah, they didn't know it, it, what to do. They yeah. were trying to make up fake fights with LeBron and saying folks hating on him. Like, yeah. man, you know how cool all us was? Man, <laughs> man. Like, like, like I'm Brian. Brian was fat, you know. Yeah, like, Brian came, and came, came in and fit in. right in. Brian used to be at the crib, you know, rich. It, that's why I tell you, Rich introduced us to Brian. We used Man. to go to his high school games before. I used to tell folks from, all that. Rich from Cleveland. Yeah. Rich from Cleveland. So uh, when I met, when I worked out for the Cavs, Brian, Brian, I think Brian met Rich like a week before in the yeah. airport. So we was down like at the Hyatt, I think, when I was working out for the Cavs. Yeah. So Brian came up to meet Uncle and them. And, and and Brown and them called Rich. So so that's how me and Rich All got, got together. Rich, that, yeah. That's my man, Rich. Rich, man, Rich, a good dude. Rich, a good I'm dude. I'm proud. Like, I'm proud of Rich, man. Word up, man. I'm proud like, of like, Rich. Because like, like, knowing where he came from, yeah, remember, we used to get bro, the Rich, we used to get Rich the CDs and the jer throwback jerseys yeah, from Rich. Rich, Rich, Rich used to take us, us to the mall. Like, that's why I be laughing. Yeah. Like, you know, you get all these people saying, like, oh, da, da, da. and I tell people all the time, like, bro. Y'all have no clue. Nobody, like, especially from over this way, we not hating on LeBron or nothing. They got, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you see what he done did for not only, like, like, everybody right. see what he did for the world, right? For, you know, right. for, for, for right. his community right. and all that. But, like, when you, when you look at his his inner circle and how he done elevated them boys and put them boys into millionaire status on their own, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously it wouldn't have happened without LeBron, but, like, each and every right. one of them able to stand off on their own and say they got this yeah. and that going and like that it right is not, there is bigger had, than anything. Right, they had to go get it. And I, and I know Rich had that dry. Like, yeah. like Rich come from where we come from. Real mm -hmm. talk. Rich used to hustle like, the, the, the long way. Man, man Rich. The Rich, long Rich, way, boy. Rich come from where we come from. You know he, the guy he, that gets you anything from the street? Rich he, was he, that guy. Rich, Rich so used to, to see be him at. <laughs> Rich used to be in Camden without me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rich is that guy. That's my man. I'm man, proud of yeah, Rich. Like, like, where like, he, at, man. He, he made he, he made that transition from well Memphis to Cleveland. He's like Rich. Yeah. He was at the house every day. Hey, my boy, that's Mikey. the funny thing because they always want us to address this on social media. They got like the one little clip going around from right before that I was about to draft LeBron. Just so like D Miles, Bulls, like Ricky Davis. I want to say maybe yeah. some, it showed like three or four of them. And it seemed like they saying like some hating stuff, but they not. What they trying nah, to do, what nah. they trying, like if, if people like, you know how the, the internet is, right? So it's like that, but like, if you really at that time, I know what's going on. They looking right. at it, they trying to soften the blow and soften the pressure for this kid that they don't, nobody don't know if he gonna live up to everything they said. Right. They, they trying, right. to, they trying right. to soften the blow and take the expectations yeah. and take the edge off like, hey, he's yeah. not supposed to come here and like save everything. Like they trying to, they being OGs like they supposed to be, but you know, the right. internet and the media gonna twist right. and say, oh, look at, yeah. well, I, I really love to say, hear what y'all gonna say about these comments now, it's like, bro. Nobody right. was never hating. Like, go ask LeBron if he was hanging with those guys and if they were hanging on him. Like, they all hung out. They were friends. Like, it's not Brown, like that. Brown, Brown was family, man. Straight up. Brown was family. Deep Miles and Brown used to be together every day. All the time. Right. Every, <laughs> every day. day. <laughs> See, I, 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 I know I this because deep. I talked, you know, D, my bro, this is why I laugh when we see the <laughs> comments. Folks don't know that like, because I don't see it every internet. day. You're not, yeah. You can't do that. Yeah. And we not those See, guys even try to address it. We just look at it and laugh, but you get it all day long every day yeah see see i, I like like i ain't i was a dude i ain't like a, a, a attention you know yeah. what i'm saying and, and Brian, he 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 gonna it's gonna just be attention around you know what i'm saying all that media and stuff mm -hmm. yeah. so when, when it came down to that like like Brian used to be at the crib every day almost yeah when when, when he was still in high school you know with rich the summer of when you signed back when you signed with Golden State. Yeah. I remember I was uh I was just hearing. I was like, man, they're like Wag Wag about to come back. And he killing everything that moved <laughs> the whole summer. Yeah, yeah. I remember uh somebody was telling me about a pickup game. I think it was supposed to be Vince and a bunch of people. Pickup game you had and you just killing and everybody was like, man, you need to go on, get on back. Right. Get to going. Like, man, how was that summer for you when you was trying to come back and made you made a decision to try to 
try to spin the wheel again. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the year before, that was the year I got diagnosed with the uh, ulcerative colitis. Mm. And, and it, it, it hit me hard, like, like it, to the worst that I had, I had to get the surgery in order for me to. Yeah. So in yeah, the NBA, nobody back then didn't know what that was. They like, they didn't know how to do it. Like I had to uh, get some of my colon taken out. Like they made me a new colon. Right, yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Me, it, I, like a, it's called like a J pout surgery, right, mom? Mm. It, like it was, it was hard. It was hard, man. It's like an eight hour surgery. Mm. Eight hour surgery. But that's what I was going through the whole time in, in, in Cleveland. That Cleveland Clinic diagnosed me with it. Shout out to Cleveland Clinic because they took well care of my mom too, man, when she was going through her cancer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, but I got the surgery. Man, when I came back, man, I was like 50, you no, know, I was like 40 pounds. Yeah. 40 pounds. So once they cleared me, it was supposed to be like a two, three year process. So I start working out, start working out. Like within like six months, I was playing. Back. <laughs> uh, I'm playing. And we, and we had a, a pro am league in Philly. You know, Camden and Philly is you can throw a rock. Across the bridge. Right yeah, across, across the bridge. The bridge. Like, <laughs> like, like, you, it's right there. So we had a pro am league, Cat, Alvin Williams. This is when they still all in the league. Mm -hmm. Hakeem Board, Sean Colston. Everybody played that league. Salvin played for the Sixers. It, it was in the gym, uh, Drexel. It'd be real hot, real hot. So I was playing that league and it got me in shape. You know, by the time the middle of the summer, I was killing. I was killing. I was probably, I was better than what I was. For, Mature, you know, I was like probably you like 20, 22, 23. That's when you, yeah. you hitting your prime. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I like, remember you like, got in, yeah. Yeah, like, like I wasn't even thinking, but my mind said, I'm gonna sit out this whole year, get my body right, then I'm gonna go at it. You know? Yeah. But it, so scouts good. start coming to them pro-am games. Like I was yeah. putting up 60s, one game I had 80. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this against pros. Like I well, you a whole life bucket, bro. Yeah, you I, all, I, <laughs> but your life is a bucket. Yeah, I had 88 in, in one of them games, and and it was five pros on the team. And I'm on the team. And I'm the you. person I'm I, I'm playing with my Camden dudes. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, like yeah, like right. we compete. Like, listen, just give me a, I, I'm one of them dudes, you just give me a, give me a little bit of help, and I'm gonna get us there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Scouts start coming. So now Leon, Leon Rose. Right. He called me up, like, yo, go with state. Want you to come work out for him. So I'm like, do it. He like, yeah, you like the way they say you looking, like how your body feel. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? It's all right. right. I, I think. I think. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I went out there, I was out there for like a week and I was, I was, I was killing, I was killing. And Seattle had like eight roster spots. They called Leon like, yo, we want him to come work out. So Leon called Golden State like, yo, he going to Seattle, they got eight roster spots. Y'all saying how good he did down there? He ain't gonna make it out of Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> so like like oh give it give it give it give us 20 minutes. So he called back Leon, like yo, they just offered you a two year two year deal. Mm. Mm. Two year deal. So I, that's when I signed the Golden State deal. So after this a situation in Golden State, how did you did you did you walk away from that knowing or feeling like this could be it for me as far as like hooping and, and how did you feel like after the you know your experience with Golden State? I, I just I thought my, my my body wasn't ready, like like I probably need to, to you know I shouldn't have came back that quick, right? You know, let it fully recovery because the uh, problem I was uh had like two point four body fat, so I was burning all muscle, so it was making me like dizzy and all. I had no fat on me. 
Right. Yeah. No, from the surgery. Crazy. Two point four. Yeah. 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 So you I feel remember. like did you? So you feel like you just need to like like go and get do a reset and just get your body right and body you know, like right. If I yeah. feel like if I get myself fully right. I do even better than this time. Right. Right. And I think uh, Gold State should have probably really did a, like some research on collide it was you yeah, yeah to see how, how they can help me yeah well, well we complaining about that you know they gave us two years guarantees right. you know we ain't gonna play right. you ain't gonna do your research <laughs> shit. we could i mean you just one start bench cut you got to start one you got a bench one and you got to cut one <laughs> so steph curry Damn. kyrie irving oh. and ali iverson oh, what oh Man, that's cheap. You gotta start one, you gotta bench one, you gotta cut one. Damn, we know who's starting. We know who's starting. D, you know the type of players I love. Ah, I'm, more con- know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more concerned with the two uh, bench or cuts. I know who's starting. I can't, I can't, I can't. Look, look, look. My, my, my uh, <laughs> I, I, I love, I love Steph. Steph different, different. Like, I can't go against my old way. Can't go. I, I can never see nobody better than AI. No, I already knew. Can't never see nobody better than AI. And 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 Kyrie different. And he from Jersey. And he from Jersey. And he from Jersey. Yeah. Man, like he is yeah. different. That, start that's bench cut. He's, doing. <laughs> he's still trying to get it though. <laughs> start bench cut, cut, fool. You like what's up? AI, Kyrie. That's Steph. You gonna cut Steph? Okay. Yeah, I got Let no, no, no disrespect to Steph. Steph, Steph, Steph. <laughs> hey, this is that. This is what I want to ask. Oh, no, I, a trick question, I've been, right? I've been, I've been interested in this question ever since he talked about your in high school. Like in high school, you had the whole you piece. He said you piece. I'm like thinking he was gonna have like a D or your number or something. He said nah, you had with my body. jersey, with my bread. So this is what I want to know: when you got that bag, when you got to the league. I ain't talking about, you know, we all take care of moms or pops or family or whatever. I'm talking about what did Dewani do for you? Now, I know you kind of under, under the radar and all that. But, play. I wonder, that's a good question. But what did you do <laughs> that you thought was like stunt-tastic to you? Was it, a, was it a, a piece of jewelry? Was it a car? Was it, what did you do? Some type of materialistic thing. What did you do to splurge upon yourself? Treat yourself. It was a car, uh, 600 Benz. Six hundred bands. Okay, he like Tim Thomas, a fellow Jersey look, 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 look. native. The, 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 he yeah. went and got the six hundred. Was, was it black? Was it black? All black. All my cars are black. Look, look. Okay. You already okay, know. Okay. Okay. All black. Look, uh, with my my, my twelfth grade problem, old head, Rod Strickland. Okay, OG Strick. He let me use his his, his car to go to the prom. Uh huh. This is funny. Yeah, 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 in a league yeah, vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Riding that ride. This, this is a funny ass story. I ended up with it for like two months. He forgot he let me use it. Wow. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you just looking out for nephew, man. You don't forget oh, about no love. 600, bro. He just let you rock out for a You know, strict. You know, yeah, strict. He just let you all all ride, ride, man. Man. Okay, strict. Thorough. <laughs> that's yeah, that's hard uh, right man. there. Let him hold that joint down for two months. You riding around the city like the king. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm a good dude, man. So I I, I always kept them relationships with them, man. And it, now it's you crazy. Got you yeah, son. It, now your son slides right, through. They like, 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 man, he, he, my, my, my son in good hands, man. I, and I could just be a parent. Cause these yeah. the, these are the people you know my my, my parents trusted and you. when I was coming up man and, and they proved and, right and, and, and everything went like with the basketball part man they kept all the bullshit yeah, they went right my, yeah. you know my mom my grandma my dad my step pops my uncle yeah. it, was, it, it it was a team man all yeah. all my uncles all yeah. my uncles and you know just my health went went wrong that's the only thing that. You know, sometimes like I'm cool with my career because it probably was a sign for me to be yeah. home with my son. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. So yeah. you know, like trust me, I, I I go over it. I'm cool with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I feel like I could have did way yeah, more. Yeah, we had. We knew you. What, 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 what I really yeah. wanted to, but yeah. I'm cool with I'm it, a, man. Just to be the opportunity to be that 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 
at five thousand that actually got the opportunity to play. Man, and, that's big. Do I do it then for people to even appreciate right. what I done brought to the table? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm, right. I'm, I'm definitely you on here because we want you. We appreciate you. Yeah, brother. I'm a firm believer. Uh, everything happening, you know, the way it's supposed to Who's, for a reason. Right, right. I feel like for each of us, you know, all you know, all of us, we could look and say, oh, we could have did. But I feel like everything went the way it was supposed to for yeah. us to be able to, you know, be what we are in, in life today and be right here. Because otherwise, you know, like I always, I used to always say, I should have left after my freshman year. No, I shouldn't. I should have left right when I left because right, this right. is supposed to go the way it was supposed to go. Supposed to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so I, I, I'm a friend. Yeah, I you feel need like to leave God, when you left because you wouldn't have made it without God me, bro. Don't, <laughs> God <laughs> don't make no mistakes. You feel me? I wouldn't be here with this, with this, the, with the you black man. Exactly. If I would have yeah. left my freshman year, he would have still been in college. I mean, he would have still been in high school and not even able to come out. But because things I happened the right way to college they if you supposed would've supposed to go, <laughs> here we are today, knucklehead and up sitting well, here with my dog, Wani Wagner, one of the realists. Right, well, Straight up. Jay said y'all, man, saying to y'all. That's why I say I am, I ain't, I don't be doing this type of stuff, man. I I, yeah. I, I, I let him know, man, it's my, it's my son turn. I don't want to take nothing away from him. You know what I'm saying? Let him do his thing. Well, you know, we just had to have you pop out and put you on display before it become all about him. Let you get your flowers because you deserve them, man. And, and you deserve them for how you doing with your son too, man. Because this is like, like it's 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 up to us to to, to bring him up the right way to because we yeah. know what it is and. And it's good that you identifying all of the social media sucker shit and you keeping that away from your son and you trying to bring him up like a real one, man. I definitely salute you on it because it, it's tough. It's tough yeah, to right, have your right. son really not engage in that when that's all everybody his age do. Right, so I mean, right, for you to, right, for you to be right. putting that into him and, 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 and building him out that, that way, man, that's that's real right there, bro. Salute. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yo, man, that's a wrap, man. This has been dope. We got my main man Waggy in this piece, man. This legend. Was, yeah, this legendary right here. Like for real, we felt like the, the basketball community needed to hear this and needed to know what was going on with my player partner. And um, we appreciate you for sliding through, man. We know this ain't what you do. We know you did it because you got this relationship with uh with me more so though than D Miles. Nah, I'm just playing with <laughs> 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 Nah, we know how you and D Miles rock, man. And I'm glad he was able to, you know, yeah. rock rock with you and we we locked in and got this done, man. We really rock with you and yeah. and love how you was bringing. You know how we did when we was coming through, man. This was special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Keep doing y'all thing. Yes, sir. Right up.